honey-coated poison, and Cloak found himself knee-deep in a dangerous game. He knew the odds were stacked against him, but there was something about Lila that reeled him in, hook, line, and sinker. Together, they followed the trail of deceit that wound through the city's underbelly, leading them to a secluded cabin nestled in the heart of the haunted woods. Danger clung to the air like a suffocating mist, but Cloak was no stranger to the dark dance of danger. He had danced with death more times than he could count, and each time, he came out the victor. But even the sharpest detective could be blind to the truth, and as the cabin's creaking door swung open, Lila's true colors unfurled like a blood-soaked banner. Betrayal struck like a stiletto in the back, and Cloak Daggerin found himself left for dead in the shadows. With a wounded heart and a thirst for vengeance burning like a wildfire within him, Cloak's survival instincts kicked in. Alone, in the heart of the forbidding woods, he had to rely on wit and skill to stay one step ahead of death's cold embrace. It was during those long, dark nights in the woods that Cloak discovered a long-forgotten art, shadow magic. The shadows whispered secrets to him, and they became his loyal allies. Armed with a bow he crafted from the gnarled branches of ancient trees, Cloak Dagrin mastered the way of the Shadow Archer. Emerging from the woods with a cloak of darkness draped around him, Cloak Dagrin had shed his former self like a snake shedding its skin. He was no longer just a detective, he was a force to be reckoned with. The city dubbed 